cemetery but I'm not here for the cemetery I just ran from my car so I'm almost out of breath <laughs> I'm here because of this departure of the Wyandotte Indians the 1817 Treaty of Fort Meigs opened much of the north west Ohio to white settlement and return the US government granted the Wyandotte Nation permanent use of the Grand Reserve the present day Upper Sandusky farming continued, a school was built, and in 1924 a mission church was constructed by the Indians and Methodist missionaries. Blah. So, that over there is the church. Can't get into it, but we're gonna go look around by that in a second. This sign over here talks about the mission. It was founded by John Stewart, a black man, in 1816. The Wyandotte Indian Mission became the first officially recognized mission of the Methodist Episcopal Church in America three years later. A stone mission church was built on this spot in 1824 under the supervision of Reverend James V. Finley. The Wyandotte Indians worshipped here until 1843. The building fell into ruins later and was restored in 1889. So let's go look at the church. Oops. I'm gonna pause this until we get over there. Okay. So this is the church. We're gonna go around to the front and then we'll just walk around. You can go in it in the summertime usually. It's usually opened in July, June, July, and August on Saturdays and Sundays. This year it wasn't open though because of the virus. But. Here's a little sign that says it was rebuilt in 1889. Here's a sign that says it was built in 1824. And there's a sign about the National Register of Historic Places. Back up so I can get a good view of the church. So this is what it looks like. Wyandot Mission built by the Indians in 1824, honored by the Ohio Chapter of National Society, Colonial Dames, something, 1992. I don't know if you can really see inside the window. Not really very good. Looks there's just seats in there. Back here are some cool stuff. Like an old stove. You can see some stuff in there. It's kind of cool. It'd be nice to go inside, but like I said, it wasn't open this year. Here is a list of some of the prominent Indian con converts. 
interpreters, teachers in the mission school. And this is wind up mission names of the mission bishops of the church, elders. And then this is some of the between two logs that was an Indian that was at the Nintendo's church. Pretty sure all of these were. John Stewart, the big rock one over there. Margaret Solomon. She was I thought I saw her name out there somewhere on the board, but I don't know now. There's a few more. Kind of cool bit of history though. 